Today, we're diving into Palantir, the stock that's got investors' blood pumping and their hearts racing faster than Alex Karp riding a mountain bike. Fresh off the post-election high, Palantir is trading around the $50 mark, and some of us are scratching our heads, wondering, is this where we take profits or stay along for the ride? Palantir's journey to $50 is like that rickety roller coaster you hesitated to get on, but once you're strapped in, there's no turning back. This is a stock that's had quite a few wild moments, and now here we are, holding onto our hats as it hovers around $50. But what's particularly intriguing is how Palantir got here post-election. Some investors are pumped, convinced that this is just the start. Others are a bit terrified, wondering if the $50 mark is a natural ceiling or just a pit stop on the way to greater heights. Either way, the message is clear, Palantir's demand is hot, its tech is next level, and its revenue acceleration keeps breaking speed limits. But with all the hype, is now the time to stay on board, or should we hit the brakes and take some profits? Think about Palantir's demand like a Black Friday sale on AI technology. Companies and governments are lining up, cash in hand, ready to buy every ounce of software Palantir can produce. From predictive analytics to military-grade intelligence, Palantir has carved out a niche that's both unique and irresistible. And the use cases keep growing, insurance, manufacturing, healthcare, you name it. Palantir is basically building the digital skeleton of tomorrow's society. But is that sustainable? I mean, we all love seeing the revenue plus 30% YOY headlines, but as that figure grows, so do the expectations. There's only so much pie to go around before everyone's full, right? Well, not exactly. Palantir's expanding like a college kid at an all-you-can-eat buffet, they haven't reached their limit just yet. Here's where things get really interesting, or terrifying. Palantir has been posting quarter-after-quarter quarter revenue growth that's almost too good. To put it in perspective, imagine you've got a car that's accelerating so quickly you're not sure if it's amazing engineering or if it's going to blow up. That's where Palantir is, scaring and thrilling us all at the same time. For Palantir, the future is a bit murky, partly because they're running at a pace that feels like it could falter, but also because they're entrenched in sensitive sectors, like government defense contracts. There's a high ceiling here, but it's also risky. What if their growth slows? Will investors jump ship, or will they keep the faith? These are questions every Palantir shareholder is asking themselves right now. By the way, if you are benefiting from the content so far and want more like this, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications bell, and comment the word more. Just go ahead and type the word more so I know. Now that you've commented, let's continue. Is it time to take profits? Alright, let's tackle the big question. You're up, you're loving it, and you're wondering, should I cash in? Here are a few factors to consider. With the stock potentially ranging between $40 and $60 over the next 6 months, there's a chance to swing trade here if that's your style. But beware, this thing is a volatile beast, and timing it right might require psychic abilities or a PhD in market volatility. If you're looking at that profit and thinking it might be time to lock in gains, you're not alone. After all, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, right? If Palantir pulls back to $40, that could hurt. But if you think there's even bigger upside, we're talking $60, $70, or more, then hanging on could be wise. Let's face it, if you cash out now, you might be haunted by what-ifs. And if Palantir soars to $70 in 6 months, that FOMO will sting. But hey, that's the risk-reward game. Here's what separates Palantir from the pack and might be the reason it's worth holding on, their competitive moat is as wide as the Grand Canyon. Not only are they miles ahead in AI, but their contracts are often long-term, sticky, and complex meaning once they're in with a client, they're in. Government agencies don't just call up any OL, tech company to help run defense systems, after all. And let's not forget the customizability of Palantir's tech. Imagine a Lego set that builds itself and then evolves into whatever you need it to be. Palantir is continuously adapting, 
becoming more essential to its clients. They're in deep, and clients aren't likely to rip out this backbone to try something else. Palantir keeps its foot on the gas, investors swoon, and the stock skyrockets to new highs. AI demand keeps booming, and Palantir proves its doubters wrong. In this reality, growth slows, profits get trimmed, and the $50 mark starts looking like a peak rather than a stepping stone. This is a taking profits opportunity if there ever was one. Bottom line If you're the type who loses sleep over market volatility, maybe taking a little profit isn't the worst idea. But if you're in for the long haul, Palantir's current moves suggest they're building towards something potentially massive. Picture this, Palantir is like the lead guitarist in a rock band, cranking out insane solos that keep the audience enthralled. Now, the guitarist is phenomenal, but there's only so much show-stopping they can do before the rest of the band, aka the market, gets tired of the flash. Palantir's future might just depend on how well they can balance flash with substance. Or imagine Palantir as a chef in a gourmet kitchen, where they're the only ones who know how to make this mind-blowing AI souffle. Everyone loves it, but at some point, people start to wonder if this chef can serve up something just as good consistently. So far, Palantir has shown they've got a recipe that works, but it's unclear if it's sustainable over time. Is Palantir a hot stock or a bubble waiting to pop? Palantir is undeniably on fire, but fire can burn. The company is in a phase where they have to prove they're not just a hot trend but a tech titan here to stay. Their sticky client relationships and breakthrough technology have fueled their growth, and the potential range over the next six months could be a blessing in disguise for investors to really analyze the strength of the company. Remember that God the creator of heaven and earth will bless you abundantly, make you the head and not the tail if you love him and obey his word. Acknowledge him in your plans and he will direct your paths. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 If you have watched the whole video until the end, drop a comment like this, I stayed until the end. Just comment that I stayed until the end. When I see this comment, I will give you a heart. There are three more important steps to build wealth. First, like this video, subscribe and then turn on the notifications bell. If you do this, you highly motivate me to continue bringing to you educative and transformative videos every week. Do not miss out on our future videos full of knowledge and wisdom, all I am asking is your subscription. Thanks for joining us today, your support is appreciated so much. Do not hesitate to share this video to help someone, I recommend that you watch the next video, subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts about today's video. Thank you. See you in the next video by God's grace, we love you, and blessings to you.